Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. In this video, we're going to be learning how to draw a location map icon that you'll very commonly see on maps or on Google Maps online. Okay, so we've got our document open. We're gonna start by going to the ellipse tool and we're gonna hold shift, click and drag to create a perfect circle. And we're just gonna remove the outline here and let's just give this a fill color for now. It doesn't matter what color at the moment because we'll change that at the end. So next we want to left click and hold and then go down to the polygon tool and then just left click anywhere on the artboard and in the little dialog box that, box that pops up, just click three for the number of sides. The radius doesn't matter at this point. And we can just position this under here. We're gonna rotate this upside down. Remember to hold shift when you're rotating. So you rotate at 180 degrees exactly. And we'll just bring this up in size using the scale tool. That's this one over here. And we're gonna make this a bit shorter so we can just drag this, this bottom point up a little bit. And we want to make sure that they're aligned centrally. So if they're a little bit off like this, you can just select both of them and then go up to the top here where you've got horizontal align center. Just click that and you'll see it snaps them in line with one another. Now this is the tricky bit. You want to try and move this up, but at the same time, we need these edges to touch. So these two sort of points here, they need to touch. They need to be seamless or as seamless as, as possible. So if we just get this edge here, and now if you left click and drag from the right, you'll see it only moves from that right edge. However, if we hold down the Alt key and do the same thing, you'll see that it moves in from both sides. So effectively what we can do is if we hold down the Alt key and try that again, if we're holding Alt and we line up the right side because everything is perfectly central, we know that if we get the right side done, then the left side will match as well. There we go. So that's the, the main part of our shape. Now what you can do is you can use the direct selection tool as well, and you can move this up and down to extend the length of your pointer. But for now, I'm happy with this size. Now you can leave this with a point at the bottom, or if you wanted to round this bottom part off, one thing you can do is select the triangle, go up to Effect, Stylize, and Round Corners. And let's just tick that preview box on. And then we can adjust at the radius as we need to. Now bear in mind that we will need to go and re-correct these bits. As you can see, they've come a little bit out of line now. So we just need to correct those. It's just by moving this up. Let's just zoom in a bit, nearly there. There we go. Okay, now at the moment, if I press Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, you'll see that we've got a couple of shapes here. We've got the circle and we've got the triangle. However, this triangle at the moment is showing a square edge when actually it's rounded. And that's because we've got an appearance effect over it. So if we want the actual shape to be rounded when we start editing further, we need to select this shape We'll go up to Object and Expand Appearance. And when we click this, it will forget this appearance effect that we've got and it will become that shape. So that's kind of like a permanent thing. So make sure that you definitely, you're happy with it and you want to go with that shape. Click Expand Appearance. And as you can see, it disappears from the appearance palette and this is now the final shape we've got. So now we've done that and we've got this as a final shape, we can then select both parts and then go up to our Pathfinder palette and click Unite. That's the top left one. 
and it will now make this all into one shape. And now we can just go back up to our ellipse tool, hold shift, click and drag to make another circle of about this size. We're going to give this the color white. And we're going to select both and again click horizontal line center just to make sure that they're central to one another. And the size for this can be whatever you like. You can create a, a map pin icon like this or you can have it a bit smaller. And let's pick a, a different color something that might seem a little bit more familiar. There we go. Now one last thing, if I lay another color behind our icon that we've created, you'll see that this is white. Now what we want to be able to do is when we use this final icon in Photoshop or in any design work, ideally we want to be able to see through this circle in the middle. We don't want it to be a color. So that's easy. What we do is we just make sure that we've got our circle on top above this location pin layer. So this one's on top over the orange one. And we'll make sure we select them both. And then in the Pathfinder palette, we're going to click minus front, also known as subtract. And what it will do is it will subtract this white shape from the orange shape. So let me click that and show you how it works. And there you go. Now, we can see through that and we can see whatever's behind it. And there we go. That is our completed shape. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Take care guys.